Well, through a series of misunderstandings, Jane and her husband, Mr. H, both left home, going their separate ways. It took several weeks and a lot of doing to patch things up. But here they are back together again in the living room after dinner. Jane and her friend Marge, who lives with the Aces, as Mr. Ace puts on his hat and coat, ready to go out. Listen. Well, where are you going? To the office. <clears throat> Again? Oh, now, Jane, don't Well, start. we've been home three days, and every night you go to the office. Well, I've been away for a month, and things didn't run themselves while I was away. But every night. Oh, now, Jane, be reasonable about it. After all, Homer and Ethel did leave things in a sort of a mess. I'll say they did. Well, what do you expect me to do every night? Just sit here like a bum on a log and toddle my thumb? Oh, please, Jane, I'm a nervous man. Well, I'm you? a nervous woman. I'm not going to sit here alone every night. Oh, now, Jane... That's not very flattering to me. Yeah, there's Marge. You can talk to her. Oh, that's all I've been doing is talking to Marge. But you haven't told me anything. You've been asking me questions about what went on here. I haven't heard any of the news from back home. You haven't told me how your folks were. How's your mother? Oh, fair to meddling. Yeah, meddling. She (laughs) does. And there's lots of news I want to hear. Now, you go on to the office, Ace, and Jen and I'll kill the evening together. Uh, I won't be too late tonight. Well, how much longer are you going to have to go every night? Well, I can't say just offhand. I'm trying to straighten things out as fast as I can. It might be another week. Or... Another week? Oh, oh, no, you're not. There are certain things I won't stand for, and that's oh, it. Oh, is Oh, now, Jane, you're unreasonable. You don't suppose he enjoys having to go back to the office every night, do you? Well, you don't think I enjoy sitting here every night like a bum on a log, Oh, do why you? don't you go out? Why don't you and Marge go uh, to a picnic? Picture or something. Go to a picture without my husband? <laughs> What's so terrible about that? And have everybody looking at me? Looking at you? Yes, looking at me. Everybody around here knows there was something the matter the past month. I could tell it today when I was in the grocery store. Why, what do you think the grocer said to me when I ordered the lamb chop? I don't know. What did the grocer say to you when you ordered the lamb chop? He said, how many? How many? <laughs> What's so terrible about that? Well, he knows how many I always buy. He just thought that we were uh, separated or something. And there were some women there, too, and they kept kind of looking at me, and I got so nervous that I forgot to watch the scale when he weighed the sugar. Everybody around here thinks there's something about us oh, wrong. Oh, who cares what people say about us? Oh, we I don't... don't care what they say. It's what they think, because they keep saying nice things to me. Listen, Jane, I haven't time to take that up with you now. I've got to be at the office in five minutes, and I'll try to get back as early as I can. There, now there's some more company for you to cheer you up. Well, who can that be? Might be Neil. Well, I'll let him in, and I'll be off. And you stop worrying, Jane. Don't pay any attention to what people say or think. Well, I can't help it. When people keep acting oh, like... Oh, Mrs. Benson. Well, Mr. A, how do you do? Uh, what is she doing here? I, I, I was just going out. You've been this weather. Well, just have to work for a living in all kinds of weather. Uh, Jane, here's a visitor for you. Hello, Mrs. Banton. My dear, I haven't seen you in months, and I just had to drop over for a visit. Oh, hello, Marge. Good evening. Well, you're certainly looking fine, Mrs. A. Well, thank you. Uh, well, thank I guess I... Guess I understand you've been away, Mrs. A. Yes, we went home to visit our I folks. thought you were because everybody missed you so. Well, I guess I'll do I was anything. only saying to one of the girls this morning. Who was it? Now, I was on that phone all morning. Oh, I just can't remember who it was. I, oh, well, it doesn't matter. And she said to me, she said, guess who's back? And I said, Clara, now, don't you make me guess. Oh, that's who it was, Clara Winkler. And I said, you know, I'm awful at guessing. And she said, well, J.A. Uh, uh, good night. I, I knew you'd been away, and I made myself a promise I'd drop in this evening and have a long chat with you. Oh, my dear, I'm so newsy. The newsy, uh, is that spelled with an O? What? Uh, oh, uh, Mrs. Benson, why don't you take off your coat and make yourself comfortable? Oh, thank you. What was that you said, Mr. A? I, just, I just... thought you were in a hurry to get to your office. Uh, yes, yes, I was just trying to say I was going, Mrs. Benson. It's been nice seeing you again, Mrs. Well, Benson. thank you. I was hoping to have a chat with both of you. Oh, no, 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 I've got to be going. Good night. I suppose you'll be gone by the time I get back. Now, you said you wouldn't stay late, dear. Oh, uh, Jane, I've got to hurry. I'm late. I'll be there in five minutes. See you later. Okay, see you later. Goodbye, dear. I'll take your coat, Mrs. Benton. Oh, thank you, my dear. Well, I never expected to see you back here, Mrs. Ace. Me? Uh, well, what do you mean? Well, it was just a feeling I had. <laughs> Silly of me, isn't it? Oh, you mustn't mind me. All right. Mr. Ace went to the uh, office, did you say? Yes, he's been going to the office every night since we got back. Really? The office? Mm-hmm. Uh, his business affairs got rather tangled up since he took a month's vacation. Oh, it was a vacation. Well, we started. Yes, to... the agents visited their families, spent the holidays with them. Really? Well, what do you know? Oh, not much. And Mr. Ace has been going to the office every night since you got back? Uh-huh, but he said he'd be finished up in another week. 
Another week of going out every night. Well, going out to the office, Mrs. Best. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, we had an interesting case like that before. A case? What does that mean? Oh, it was the talk of the neighborhood for blocks around. He went to the office every night, too. Oh. Well, I'd rather not mention names, if you don't mind, Mrs. Ace. Shall we let him be uh, anonymous? Well, all right, if you want to. Joe is easier. <laughs> no, Mrs. Benton, I think you've got the wrong plan on this. So, well, use your own word this case. Well, as I was saying, he went to the office every night, and she swallowed a hook, line, and sinker until one night she called his office and he wasn't there. Well, where was he? Where was he? You know, I asked you that. Oh, my dear, must I draw a blueprint? Say, pardon? Now, just a minute, Mrs. Benton. I think you're barking up the wrong tree. You <laughs> see, Mr. Ace is going to the office. He's been away for a month or so, and he's got a lot of back work to catch up in. Oh, my dear. Well, well. Now, look here, Mrs. Benton. Oh, Bettina. well, let's not talk about it anymore, shall we? If you're satisfied, I suppose I should be. You are satisfied, aren't you, Mrs. Ace? No, I'm not. Well, Jane. Well, I'm not satisfied to stay home every evening because he has to work. Work? Oh, oh my dear. What? Mrs. Benton, I wish you wouldn't say that thing. Oh, I haven't said anything. I've been most careful. I'd be the last person in the world to want to start trouble. What kind of trouble? I can't make heads or shoulders of what you're trying to say. Well, all I can say is that this other woman called her husband's office and he wasn't there. Now, Mrs. Benton, I think you've uh, said Just a minute, Mars. Don't keep interrupting her. I can't understand what she means. Well, do you want me to tell you? Yes, if you know. She means that maybe Ace didn't go to the office. Didn't go. Oh, well, he said he was going. You heard him. Oh, my dear, you're so gullible. Well, thanks. But what do you mean he didn't go to the office? Yes, you tell her what you mean, he didn't go to the office. Oh, I don't have to draw a blueprint, do I? All I said was that this other woman called up her husband and he wasn't there. Oh, but she got over it. She married again and she's very happy. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, well, I don't have to call up my husband. I know he's there. So nice to have faith like that. I only wish I had it. Oh, I don't have to call up my husband. Well, you see, Mrs. Benton, it didn't work out. What didn't work out? My dear, you don't think oh, I would... Oh, no, not at all. Well, I wouldn't for the world. Well, of course not. Just because I said that one woman found out her husband wasn't at the office when he said he was going there. Oh, I don't have to call up my husband. I don't think. You don't think you do? Well, no, I don't think Well, so. of course, if he's there, there's no harm done. Why? Well, I say if you call him and he's there, there's no harm done. Oh, I don't have to call up my husband. If he said he was going to the office, he is, I think. Oh, Jane, don't you weaken. Why, he wouldn't even be there yet. Oh, he's had plenty of time. He said five minutes. He must surely be there by now, isn't he, Ma? Yes, he is. See, even she doesn't think I have to call up my husband. I don't think, I'm sure. Oh, well, after all, it's no affair of mine. That's right, Mrs. Benton. I don't know who this other woman is you've been talking about, but husbands differ. And this is one husband who does differ from the one you've been talking about. Oh, I sometimes wonder. Well, I don't think I have to call up my husband. I did want him to uh, bring home some sandwich or something. I could call him to bring... I understand, my dear. Well, were you away too, Marge? Oh, no, I stayed home and took care of things. We had visitors while the aces were away. Really? And they weren't here to entertain them. How strange. Well, they were unexpected guests. Really? I'm getting hungry, I think. What? I'm getting hungry. I didn't eat much dinner. I think I'll call him and ask him to bring home some sandwiches. Oh, Jay, now... I that's... always like a midnight snack of some sort. Mr. Benton always says there's nothing like a midnight... Jane, put that phone down. Oh, he won't mind. I'll just tell him to bring home some sandwiches and I'll make some coffee. Yes, you call him, my dear. Oh, this has nothing to do with what you said. And you don't have to draw any blue points for me. I don't swallow anything hook, line, and singer like that woman you said. I just thought it would be nice if we had some sandwiches. Oh, would you like to stay and have something, Mrs. Van? Oh, no. I'll be going in just a few moments. I really must rush off as soon as uh, he answers. If he does answer. Doesn't he answer? Well, well, it takes time, I guess. Oh, take your time. If he's there, he ought to answer. Oh, he's there. He said he was going to the office. Well... Doesn't he answer yet? Oh, uh, no, not... Oh, yes, he does. Uh, no, dear. I just called up to ask you to bring some sandwiches home. I hope you're satisfied. Well, there's nothing like making sure. Oh, any kind. Just the sort of sandwiches. I'll make some coffee. And yes, goodbye, then. Well, I guess I'd better be going. I'm sorry we couldn't entertain you the way you expected, Mr. Sam. Oh, not at all. I enjoyed it. It's been so nice seeing you. Oh, don't bother. I can find my way out. My car just outside. Good night. Give us a ring sometime. Good night. Good night, Mr. Dave. Good night. Well, that ought to keep her trapped, John. 
But I am a little disappointed in you, Jane, actually calling him up that way. Well, that ought to ease your mind for a long while after finding him there. That's just it, Marge. He wasn't there. He was But you just told him to bring some... I was talking to myself. He didn't answer. But I didn't want her to know. You know how she carried gospel around. <laughs> I can say I meant to that. But, but you say he wasn't there? He wasn't there. Nice work, Jane. Not giving Mrs. Benton the satisfaction. But where is Mr. Eight? We'll learn more about his secret mission and the complications that follow when next we meet the Easy Aces. 